Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix your Xbox One controller. And on this particular one, it's the model number which you can find it at the back. And it should say somewhere the model number right there. It says 1537. That's the controller model numbers for 1537. But this service applies for any controllers for three even some of the 360s they're really similar the position of the screws and the process so if you have the xbox 360 or xbox one and you have a problem with your uh, rb in bumper clicks not responding or the lb button is not working whichever is not working like uh, they are simple to fix and I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble and how to open it and how to fix the issue. So in this case, the button that is not working, it's the RB button. Let me just make sure that it's... Yep, it's the RB which is not working. So let's go ahead and open this apart. First thing, first you want to remove the cover at the back side let's say let me zoom in I mean focus right here you want to remove this side and this plastic cover right here you can do it by your hand just put your fingers right in the side and pull it apart and pretty much it will just come out do the same thing for the other side put your fingers right there and pull it outward there we go. Now, once you got that out, you want to remove the screws that is located right in there. One is right in the corner up. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there. There are five of them in total. So, remove that. And there's one right at the corner, at the bottom edge. And the next one is the same thing, but in the other side. So I remove those. And the screw right there. As if it doesn't come out, just use your tweezer to just pull out the screw and also there is a hidden screw right on the sticker at the bottom at the back right where the battery goes so you have to rip the paper out or just make a hole in the middle to get to the screw and unscrew that one right there Now that you got all those out, you want to just remove the top cover. Once you remove those, you want to flip it over and remove the bottom cover. It just it really just falls off almost. Once you remove those two, you want to remove this metal cover right here the plastic in the middle by doing that just put your fingernail just in the between these two buttons right there and just lift up this one right here while you're lifting up you want to press down the xbox button down a bit so you will just pull it up it will just come out right there also you might want to watch out for this button right here so it can fall down easy is this one right here so I recommend you guys take it out before you lose it so remove it for now all right now the issue that we have again it's with the RB button which when you press it it will just show up it's this one right here right here so 
the one that is failing is this button it doesn't make the connection so what we want to do we want to remove this button and replace this button with a new one and I have my new one I bought it off Amazon or you can buy it on eBay if you want they're really cheap so in order to remove this you have to desolder this one it's right here at the back you have to desolder these four legs right here so we're gonna go ahead and desolder these four legs so we can remove the bottom in the other side so let's go ahead to the soldering station alright now that we are here we need few things we need the button right now the new button I'm gonna use my soldering wiring that's kind of braid to remove the solder and I, I so I'm gonna use my flux you can use any type of flux for this fork so and you need some kind of twi tweezer I just I'm gonna use a flathead tweezers in this case and obviously you need a soldering iron so first we want to apply a little bit of flux on each leg but what the flux does it just brings down the melting temperature for the soldering so you can actually desolder it at the lower temperature that way you don't damage the buttons or the board and also apply a little bit of flux on top of the mesh you don't have to use the mesh if you you want to pack you want to be easy just use mesh but if you don't want to use this it's going to take a little longer a little more pain so pretty much what I'm going to do I'm going to start heating it up It looks clean. Now we removed all the clocks from there and all the soldering from the legs. Just watch out for the motors. You can flip it over and try to wiggle it around and remove the button. And it should come out very easy. So that's the old button and the new one so grab the new one i'm gonna use my finger to put it in so placing the new one there we go once you have the new one in now you're just gonna grab some soldering wire uh, I have a limited space here so I'm just trying to cramp everything in one place so grab your solder and solder back the legs solder on this one there we 
there we go. You can also do a test if you want to without turning your Xbox on. You can grab your voltmeter and put it in a oh right there. It's supposed to show you zero. I put on a sound too. So if the button works, it should make a beep sound or it should go down to zero. So I'm touching right now the legs, there's nothing. I'm with my other finger. I'm gonna press the button. So there we go. I let it go. So there's no contact as soon as you press. It goes down to zero. So that means it's working. If you do the same thing with this button right here, you should not make any sound like that. It's gonna be really hard to... So I'm gonna put my finger right there. Put one there. So there's no sound. I press. And there is no, still no sound. Or there's no connection. So that means the button is dead. So now, once we fix this one, now let's put it back together also put down the top there right, turn off your station and let's go back to my other station all right guys now that i did put the new button in so as you can see the new one focus on that so the new one has a white plastic and the old one it's the black one right there and these are the buttons right there so anyway so let's flip it over I'll show you where I soldered you can clean it up with an alcohol if you want to or if you don't want to clean it you don't have to nothing will happen so if you want to tidy it up just clean it up with an alcohol and some cotton or just leave it there so the flux will just keep it clean so there will be no humidity and i rather leave it with the flux and or clean it anyway so let's put it back together so first thing first you want to put the black cover on top before you put this black cover let's go ahead and put back the button that we removed so just place it in where it's supposed to be right there and you have to squish this put this one first the USB charger part first so put the bottom side first and then twist it fold it up to the top side so just like that it's kind of you have to use a little bit of pressure I have the camera on my way so I'm gonna try this and focus at the same time if I do auto focus it's just gonna go all over the place goes right in there you have to work it out so you don't press too too hard you don't want to break it but you should go in pretty easy All right, once you got this in put the top cover so these motors they won't fall off so put that there and flip it over make sure the cables are inside so you don't want to bend or pr put any pressure or bite the pressure by the between the plastic and grab the top one before you put this in you have to push these two triggers inward and then put down the top cover Gonna make sure that everything is in place. 
I like the way that this one is working but I don't like this there's a kind of pressure on this one it's uneven so I'm gonna remove it to make sure yep once you put it in make sure for this battery con contacts the battery contacts they have to be inside of the plastic so make sure these two contacts are in there so right now what happened I had like this one contact in one contact on behind the plastic make sure those two plastics are on the contact now close it and press it make sure you have a nice smooth contact nice smooth contact on both sides perfect now we can go ahead and put the screws back in and you should fix the problem for the triggers also if you guys like this video thumbs up and try to subscribe and so it motivates me to make more videos and I show you guys how to fix your electronics and if you have any requests for all my subscribers let me know and I will show you guys how to fix your laptops your console your any type of electronics that you guys have let me know in the comments and I'll try to get my hands on it also once I reach certain point of the subscribers I'll do some prize giveaways so that's another benefit of subscribing you don't have nothing to lose uh, much to gain all right now once you put the screws in you want to grab the side covers this is for this side just put it in and just press it down same thing to this side just put it on top and press it down and the battery cover goes right there and you're done and this is how you do your service for your Xbox One controller to fix any your triggers. And this applies for 360 too. Thanks for watching guys and I see you guys in my next video.